You're looking at Anaheim, California for WonderCon. Hi, I'm Mark Ellis here on the street with Rotten Tomatoes asking folks, what movie do you need to see this summer? Probably the Flash movie. It's going to be Indiana Jones. Guardians of the Galaxy 3. My guilty pleasure, Fast and Furious. Mission Impossible 7, absolutely. Dune. I, I, Dune's not coming out this summer. Then nothing. Transformers, Beast Wars. Peter Pan, we're huge Disney fans as well. Even though we might not look like it right now. <laughs> it might be the D&D movie coming out, we'll see. The Dungeons and Dragons movie. <laughs> what movie are we all excited to see this summer? Just shout it out. The Little Flash Baby! Baby! Yeah. How about The Flash? But Michael Keaton's Batman, that's that's what I'm looking forward to. That's my guy right there. The crossovers are going to bring Ben Affleck Batman, Michael Keaton Batman, and even Supergirl. Michael Keaton's back, Ben Affleck's back. And The Flash is in it out here too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look, I just like to be entertained, so I just want to see a good movie. The Flash is one of my favorite superheroes, so I'm really excited to see that movie. There might not be a future. The 10th Fast and Furious movie. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'll pass. <laughs> I mean, what Fast and Furious movie are we on now? <laughs> I can turn my brain off and just watch ridiculous stunts happen and just enjoy it. Love it. Cars falling out of planes? Yes, I'm here for it. What do you think about Fast 10? <laughs> that means family. As we say in the Fast and Furious franchise, it's all about what? Uh, uh franchise uh, stability. <laughs> We were looking for family. That's the problem with having such a big family. How do you choose the ones you save? We're here on the street at WonderCon and you never know what people are gonna ask me to do. All right, I think we got it. Mission Impossible 7. I love me some Tom Cruise. Oh. Come on, Tom Cruise is amazing. Barely anyone else really does that in the industry. And you know, when he breaks something, it's all the more interesting. So I saw that video of him like skydiving off a motorcycle in a cliff in Norway. That's bad ass. Maybe it's time to just like stop for safety. I mean, he is 60, but if he's willing to do it, why stop? Indiana Jones 5. I'm a big Harrison Ford fan. Yeah! <laughs> we happen to have some Indies here. It is the return of the greatest adventure character of all time. It's going to be so cool to see how they tie things together, how they wrap it up, how even they just continue the great work that they've done. It's the nostalgia. It's the, why did I do this for a career when I could have been a globetrotting uh, archaeologist? I love the trilogy, and I'm just really looking forward to just sitting in theaters with another indie movie. Indiana Jones is the flawed hero that we all can relate to and that we all deserve to see. He's the one that takes all the punches for us and we as the audience give the punches for him. All right, so the last question, we're gonna go around the table here. Give me your favorite quote from any of the Indiana Jones movies. Snakes, why'd it have to be snakes? Hello, Marion. It's not the years, it's the mileage. Trust me. I'm just making this up as I go along. <laughs> A lot of great answers from a lot of fantastic folks here at WonderCon. Now it's your turn. Comment right now and let us know what movie do you need to see this summer? What movie could you do without? And what's your favorite characters? Are you hoping to make another big screen return? Thanks for checking out On the Street. I'm Mark Ellis. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you real soon. And after you see all the movies this summer, make sure you rate and review at RottenTomatoes.com. Um, thank you, sir. Nobody's filming here. <laughs> All right, let, let, me, let me do some mini-fine. That was great, y'all. That's good stuff, old friend.